Hey everybody, welcome. It's me, Uncle Bubba, DJ, coming at you with another little video. We're going to go over what's sold this week, maybe seven in the past, past seven to ten days. Um, had some a nice mixture of both vintage and newer items, which I really like selling. I more like to stay on the side of the vintage items, but new items sell just as well. So we'll go over those. We'll go over a few items that I picked up at local thrift stores and local Goodwill stores. Um, quite a few items that I'm not familiar with picking up, even looking at, to be honest with you. Um, actually, comic books. Um, I know a couple uh, collectors. They're not resellers, they're collectors. I kind of value their opinions a little more than I do resellers. I able to pick these up for a pretty decent price, I believed. And uh, when I sent them the pictures and sh showed them and told them what they were, they said, yeah, that's what they are, and you got some nice ones. So we'll be going over those. Uh, like I said, then we'll be going over uh, what's sold the past 7 to 10 days. So let's get this thing started, and hopefully the video will be better as we go along. But who knows? That's the fun part about these. We learn as we go and talk about learning as we go. Two people I'd like to give a thank you to. Chris, Patriot Picker, thank you for picking out a few things in my last video to work on. Hopefully I did. I'm trying. And John, DC Picker, also thank you for showing me a few things that I did on the video. And hopefully I'm doing a little bit better. Hopefully I'm doing a little, a few, a few things that you pointed out to me. So let's get started. Let's have fun. All right, here we go. I'm going to go over a few things I picked up here at the local uh, Goodwill's thrift stores. Hopefully, when the weather changes permanently, we'll be back hitting the uh, yard sales. Now, uh, you know, we always pick up, you know, things that are undervalued. And I like to say underappreciated by the original owners. And we're able to sell them to owners who will appreciate them. Um, I've gotten uh, quite a few thank you letters back or thank you messages back from sellers. Said, oh, thank you so much. I remember having these as kids and it puts a smile on my face. And lets me know that I'm picking the right things for the people who are looking for them. So, let's go over a few things that I picked up here. Yeah, first thing up here. Samurai Squirrel comic book. Yeah, these, these things aren't bringing too much money. I paid 50 cents for it. I think they're bringing anywhere from, you know, just your average two, maybe five dollars plus shipping on them. But... Seriously, isn't that just cool? Samurai Squirrel. Yeah, I think if he comes after my, my nuts, he can have them. I'm not going to fight him. All right. Next one up. This is from Dark Horse Comics. This comic company is no longer in business. Uh, some of their stuff is bringing a little better money, especially their Funko Pops. I sold one of those. And a few of their other brand comic books. Uh, there again, this one's not bringing too much. Actually, this one here is bringing about $8 I saw on uh, Copping Out. And there again, I paid 75, 50 to $0.75 cents for this one. I can't remember which one it was. But yeah, and it's actually in pretty good shape. These will be classified as readers, uh, comic books, so they're not in the best mint shape. And they're not in the worst shape. They are in reader's condition. So, But there again, just an absolute... Bad looking teddy bear that I don't want to mess with. I think he'd give you more nightmares and and making you feel better when you're trying to go to sleep at night. All right, and now these next three are really exciting because I remember these. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. That's right. This is number one. Right there it says number one. Number one Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Turtle suit. It's not even put out by DC, Marvel, any of them yet. This was when they were still their old independent um, comic book company but this is number one and I've been comping this one out just quickly these are still going for any for 15 sometimes up to $30 uh, going on condition I haven't taken this out of the package to completely look at it yet but I actually paid a dollar for this and I saw it I said yeah I gotta get that because I knew it was the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle and the independent because they don't have the Marvel or comic, Marvel or DC or any of the comic companies up in the corners. This is when they're on their own. So there we go. And last but not least for these, I'm trying to get them all set up here for you. 
the original three Mutant Ninja Turtle, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle graphic novels. That's number one. Number two. And number three. These were all from 1986, 1987. These are all the first edition, first printings of them. I paid a dollar fifty a piece for these, um, and I think for all three, they're copping out right about twenty to thirty dollars a piece. So I think on or twenty, yeah, twenty to thirty dollars a piece, and I'll probably wind up lotting them all up, all for one money. Hopefully, one collector is looking for all three, or it's a great way for a new collector to get started. My first three books. Uh, sometimes that's how I like to sell things when I get one or get a one off or two offs. It is a great way to finish off your collection or a great way for a new collector to start. You, know, you get to start off with, with book number one or item number one or item number two just to finish off a collection, even start a collection. So that's it for this set of uh, comics. I'm going to grab the other ones. I'll be right back. All right, now for this next uh, set of comics here. As I said before, I'm not a comic book fan. Um, I don't understand the whole comic book world. Uh, that's a whole other world to itself. And I don't even watch the Marvel and DC movies that came out like the whole Marvel Universe with Thor and... See, I don't even know what their names are because I don't watch the movies. I don't enjoy them. But I do enjoy selling their merchandise. So, I always keep, tr always keep track of what's going on out in the world. Um... And the movie cinemas, what's hot, what's not, those will help you pick out what's new and what's hot and what, what possibly sells well. Now, I've never seen these in the movies, but another this is another set that I grabbed just because I thought they neat, they look neat and they're older. These are 1988s. Uh, these are first edition, another graphic novels, Elf Quest. There again, never heard of them. Got a hold of my buddy who's a uh, comic book collector. He said, yes, those are excellent, but they would be better if they were the hardback. These are only the paperback or softbacks, as they're called. But still, each one of these are going anywhere from $20 to $30 a piece. And I paid up for these. I uh, didn't realize I paid up for them until I got to the register. But, you know, I paid $10 a piece for these. So, you know, make a $10 to $15 profit not too bad. Okay, comic books are done. Um, this will be a quick little bolo shot out too. Um, if you're out looking around, keep your eyes out for these. Um, it's going to be hard to find, but you can find them. If it takes a couple trips to the store, a couple trips to a few other stores, but make sure you keep your eyes out for these. Here they are. These are the Left Behind series for kids. Um, and they'll be easy because they're numbered on the back. And it's a set of 40 that are out there to find. And I was able, I was lucky enough to find all 40 books at one thrift store. Um, yeah, you find all 40 of them all together, all in decent shape. Like I said, you got a couple, a little bit of yelling it, yellowing on, yellowing, yellowing, yellowing. Yeah, they're yellowing on the pages from being read so as you can tell they're all numbered all in decent shape this whole collection of 40 go for $75 to $110 for the complete set of 40 now there are smaller sets uh, like book sets 1 through 10 and I think they have like a 16 book set but this is the complete 40 book set and I paid 25 cent a piece so if I can turn a $10 investment into $100, even $75, I will take that all day long. All right, so keep your eye out for those. Uh, keep your eye out for any kind of older graphic novel from the early 80s. And I, I believe he was telling me a couple of the newer graphic novels are fetching pretty good money too. Um, maybe an area I might look into learning more about. But I'm not really interested in comic books. I'm just interested in the money that they bring in. And I will pull out a few other hard goods that I've been that I pulled out from the Goodwill. And then finally we'll go over the what's sold.
Okay, we're just going to go over two things that uh, I was able to pull out. Two things that are pretty interesting. Uh, first off, there's a nutcracker. It's called the Texan York Nutcracker, the ideal gift. Uh, yeah, kind of a neat looking uh, nutcracker. Oh, it's like a pair of pliers. Yeah, I saw this in the Goodwill. This caught my eye. And uh, pay two ninety nine dollars for it. This one's copping out anywhere from $15 to $25. We'll see what it brings. And finally, here's your vintage stuff that I love finding. The vintage R10. It's called the King, the King of Table Water. Climic. Let's see, get a good picture of the name there for you. Uh, I guess the lights won't bleed it out. But it's in very good shape. Just your bar tin. A uh, little bit of, little bit of rust coming up on the edges, but shouldn't hurt it too bad. It'd be great for a display item, especially on your bar. Yeah, basement bar. So uh, that's about my only vintage find. Two ninety nine for this item, and this one is copying out anywhere from twenty five to sixty five dollars for this tin. Of course, the sixty five dollars is in perfect shape. Uh, you know, no rust spots. Has a few scratches on from being used. Um, it should still clean up pretty well, and I think it'd make a great display piece. And there again, it'd be great for a new collector. I don't think there's many of these out there. I've never, I've never seen one, or even heard of the, uh, or even heard of the brand. Uh, so I think a new collector would love to have that so he can show it off to his friends and say, hey, look what I have. I bet you don't have one of these. No. Nope. Where'd you get it? Say, this guy right here on eBay named Uncle Bubba. He is the one who had it. He's the one to go look for your odds and ends. So that should, that should do it for my What I Found, my comic books, Left Behind series, the Vintage 10. Um, so now we'll go over and we'll go over uh, what sold and I'll try to do something a little there are a few things that sold over the past seven to ten days or so I just pulled a few things out um, they've already been shipped off actually some of them have actually already been delivered which is surprising for the problems we were having back in Christmas time a little bit after Christmas time I think the USPS is finally getting back on track not inundated with items so I think everything's getting out finally the way it should be so the first thing up it's a pair of Seneca roller, um, what they call Rink Master roller skates. I picked these up at the 100 mile yard sale out in Lynchburg, Virginia, uh, with my buddy Chris Patriot Picker. Uh, they were sitting over there. Little old lady had them and uh, asked her how much she wanted for them. She said $10. I opened up the box. These skates look absolutely brand new. Um, it was near the end of the day. I said, would you take five for them? And I said, they're kind of small. They're a size five uh, for women. And she said, yeah, I'll take $5 from them. They were brand new, virtually. And uh, they came with the box. They had original papers inside of them. And these sold for $67.50 plus shipping. And the, buy and the buyer is all in at $109.10. And these roller, ri roller rinks are called roller skates. These roller skates actually went to Puerto Rico and they've already been delivered. So hopefully they like them. Hopefully they're getting down in Puerto Rico with some vintage 1990s roller skates. Next up is a vintage 1961 Casper pop-up doll. You, you turn the handle, it's like the, it's like a jack-in-the-box, but it's has to be actually Casper the Friendly Ghost. Um, another item I bought out at the 100 mile yard sale uh, out in Lynchburg, Virginia. Bought this for $4. I told him, man, look, the thing doesn't even work. The music doesn't work. Casper doesn't pop out. Just you have to pop them up by hand. And uh, so $4. I paid for it. It sold for $25. I took an offer $25 on it, plus shipping. And the buyer's all in at $37.33. So that's pretty good for $4. Next up is the Spuds McKenzie original 1986 poster. Um, I have another one sitting right here, hanging on the wall. And I have another one out in the other room. 
Uh, that's as you're walking towards my, as you're walking into the basement. Uh, this one sold for $33.50 plus shipping. And the buyer's all in at $41.39. I bought this item at an auction uh, with a whole box of posters. I bought a whole box of posters, probably close to 200 posters in there for $40. And this is the third poster I've sold out of it. Uh, the one previous was a NASCAR poster from 1989, 88, somewhere around there. And it was the discontinued or the non-censored NASCAR poster. Uh, that poster actually sold for $92 plus shipping. Um, you ought to look into that poster. Good luck trying to find one. They're extremely rare because the first printing went out and they found the non-censored part of it and they quit production of it. So uh, I had one and it sold and somebody's extremely happy about it. So that went out the door a little while ago. That poster, Spud McKenzie also went out not too terribly long ago. Next up are some vintage 1993 Beavis and Butthead buttons. Little pins you put on your on your jackets. Um, these sold for $15 and free shipping because they're only two ounces. So the buyer's all in at $16.13. I bought these at an online auction back when the shutdown pandemic started. Uh, just trying to find out where to source from. And those, those sales were good. Um, I see the prices starting to come up on them a little bit. I think more collectors and um, dealers are getting involved in those. We're jacking the prices up where they're not in the price range where I feel comfortable where I can make extra money on them. And last but not least, probably one of my favorite sales from this past week was that vintage 1980s uh, Buffalo Bills blue satin bomber jacket. That thing was absolutely beautiful. It looked like it was hardly ever worn, no rips, stains, tears, nothing at all on it. And it just absolutely just drew your eye to it like a moth to flames. Just beautiful. And I think the timing was just right uh, with the Buffalo Bills actually being a decent team finally. Congratulations, Buffalo. You're doing something right. Uh, this jacket sold for $67.99 plus shipping, and the buyer's all in at $83.95. I bought it at the Goodwill for $9.99. So that wasn't bad at all. So that'll do it for this video. I hope everybody enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. I hope everybody learned something, maybe not a lot. Hope you learned something that you can use in your reselling. If you're new to reselling, go out, enjoy it, have fun, ask questions. Everybody's willing to answer questions. We'll tell you what you need to know, how to get started, what to look for, how to look for it. Everybody has their own um, little areas that they specialize in, vintage or books or scrub tops or office products or what have you. But we all virtually pick the same items and look for the same returns on them. Don't be afraid to ask. If you like this video, please like and sub to it. Um, like I said, I'm trying to put one out every week. It'd be a little different every time. I don't know. Uh, get some different views. And um, thanks a lot. Everybody be safe. Enjoy your time out. Enjoy your family. And I'm going to leave you one little hint. Or one little word of I don't know, encouragement. I don't know what you want to call it. But don't let your ice cream melt as you're looking at sprinkles on somebody else's. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye now.